Hi guys, so for this week's vlog, I'm hoping to photograph otters. Uh, amazing mammals. Now they used to be really, really rare in the UK, uh, mainly due to sort of poor water quality and overhunting years and years and years ago. But they've made a remarkable recovery. So uh, in the last few years, we have otters back in every county of the country. But even though there's more of them, uh, because our water quality is a lot better now, still doesn't make them easy to photograph. They're really, really elusive. Uh, in England, they're normally um, nocturnal, but in this stretch of river here, uh, often you see otters out during daylight, um, sort of any time of the day really, but obviously dawn and dusk is going to be the better time. So I'm going to hang on, uh, it's about mid-afternoon now, so I'm going to scout up and down the river, uh, looking for signs, looking for scat, which is like, you know, uh, otter poo, which uh, they use to mark their territory, so that gives you signs of where the otters might be. If you could find uh, one of their halts, you know, uh, that's where they sort of obviously go for um, uh, a rest. That would be also brilliant, but that's less likely. So uh, it's a case of going up and down the river, looking for signs of the otters. They are here, which is great. Uh, but again, as I say, they're really elusive. So it's one of those um, afternoons or evenings of photography where you've literally got no guarantees of success whatsoever. I think I might have mentioned this time and time again with wildlife photography, you never quite know what you're going to get. With landscapes, it's a lot more predictable because you know the, uh, the location, uh, you know what type of light you need for that location, and you know you can work out your composition, the direction of light, and the weather conditions you want. So it's a bit more predictable. With wildlife, you've got to find it in the first place. And otters are really hard to find. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I really hope uh, I find some otters today. As I say, it's a case of just walking up and down a lot, looking for the signs of the otters, and being lucky, really. You know, you've got to be really, really lucky as well. Um, I've got my rain cover on my camera today because it is quite showery. So that means if the otters turn up and it's pouring with rain, I've not got to worry because the camera's protected and I can keep shooting. Because I might only get a few minutes, if I'm lucky, uh, to photograph the otters. So even if the conditions are not quite right, I'm still going to grab those shots. And I think one of the key things about wildlife photography is if the animal's there, you've got to get the shot, regardless of the conditions. Now, it's great if you've got the right direction of light, the right light for that subject, um, the right weather conditions. But if you've got an elusive subject and you've actually got them in your viewfinder, then you've got to shoot those, that, that, or you've got to take that picture, even if it's not quite perfect. So, I've got my rain cover on, so if it does rain again, and the otters happen to be out and about in front of my camera, when it is raining then I'm not going to stop I can just keep on shooting so I think um, I've got my zoom lens with me again today uh, because I'm doing a lot of walking around so I've got my 200 to 500 millimeter zoom I'm not using a tripod uh, or with a gimbal head this time because there's a lot of movement up and down and also because I want to get really low to the riverbank and as I'm walking and doing a lot of traveling I might not have time to quickly set the tripod up I'm better off just dropping to my knees or dropping to my tummy so that I'm as low as I can be and uh, I'm sort of as level as I can be with the otters obviously the bank's a bit higher than the water but it's not that high here it's only about a foot difference so if I'm down very low I'm going to be at almost eye level with the otters so that will look great um, and of course I've got the opportunity of getting reflections because it's a very still day today. I'm just keeping my eyes open because you never know, I could be talking to the camera here and an otter could come flying past so without me even realising. So I need to be really aware that it could happen at any time. Uh, I'm going to shoot with a fast shutter speed, uh, about a thousandth of a second, because I am hand holding. So even though the otters might not be moving super fast, I don't want to get any camera shake. Uh, I've got my image stabilisation on, or for Nikon it's called Nikon, it's called VR, vibration reduction. So that should help reduce the amount of shake as I'm moving around, but I still want a nice fast shutter speed. Uh, I'm shooting ISO um, 800 because it's, uh, the sun's behind the cloud at the moment. If the sun pops out and it is a day of light and shade, then I can drop my ISO down to probably ISO 400. And I'm shooting wide open at f5.6. So that's my settings for today. I'm on continuous focusing, so I'm going to track that subject's movement. Um, because, you know, all animals, even slower animals, move surprisingly quickly. And you need to keep them, obviously, in focus. Because if you've got a soft shot, it doesn't matter how interesting that subject is, how brilliant the composition is, how great the light is, if the subject's not sharp, then that picture is absolutely rubbish and you're not going to be able to use it. So I want to avoid camera shake 
and I want to get the focusing right. So that's about it for now, I think. I'm going to wander down the river. Um, I've already had an up and down wander. Not spotted any otters yet, but fingers crossed. Uh, and it's one of those things where you have to have a lot of patience. And again, you know, I might have to visit this river more than one time. A bit like when I, uh, I photographed kingfishers a few weeks ago. Although this is a lot further from home, so it makes it a bit harder. But fingers crossed, I'm hoping to get otters today. Uh, if not, we'll see what else turns up. There's lots of wildlife around. There's loads of bird life. Uh, both water birds and woodland birds so you know if we don't get the otters we might get something else fingers crossed so uh, i'll speak to you soon guys hi oh, guys this is fantastic um i've not found the otters yet um, and I'm guessing it's going to take a fair while if I ever find them, fingers crossed. But what I have just photographed is a pair of uh, mandarin ducks. Uh, they're a really exotic duck. Um, they're not native to this country. They've, um, they've come over from uh, overseas. Um, I'm guessing it's a mandarin duck, probably from China. But, you know, they've been introduced years and years ago and they're breeding wild in, a, in this country now. And they look fantastic. The male in particular is such a bright, colourful, uh, bird is really really exotic uh, the females are a lot more drab much more brown but that's still great because they make a really good couple so I've got some great shots of the um, the male mandarin duck in all his colorful glory I've got the female as well I've got on her own I've got pictures of them together so I've got some really nice shots in the bag so to be honest um, I'm really pleased about that because I haven't got the otters yet and I'm going to keep working on that but I've got some pictures now and uh, mandarin ducks is not a species that I've photographed before so that's really great and they're in a really nice natural uh, setting here living wild you often see them on ornamental lakes as well in gardens and stuff like that but I like to see my stuff in the wild so this is great uh, first pictures in the bag um, Again, uh, I've got some nice light on the birds, a nice fast shutter speed so I don't get camera shake and uh, obviously I'm trying to nail the focus and I've got some good sharp shots I think. So that's really brilliant, I'm going to keep wandering up and down the river, uh, see what we find next, uh, hopefully it'll be the otters but who knows. So I think that's about it for now and I'll speak to you again soon folks, uh, but yeah bye for now. Right, hi guys, um, I spotted the otter, can't believe it. Um, I've got two really rubbish pictures of the otter because what happened is he just popped up, uh, looked at me and then popped back down again. And it was really uh, a shame because he was behind a couple of bits of reed and they sort of got in the way. I will put those pictures up at the end of this vlog though just to show you that I did actually see the, see the otter. So it's brilliant, it's one of those little wildlife encounters and I would love to get some good shots of this guy and I'm going to keep uh, trying for the rest of the afternoon but you know even if you don't get the, a great picture it's a really great wildlife encounter and it's fantastic I'm so 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 pleased um, so he popped up for literally a split second I got two rubbish pictures he dived down again and went started uh, swimming underwater upstream because I rushed upstream because I thought that was the way he was going and he just popped up and down again and then I lost him. So he's obviously on a hunting mission, so he's not hanging around this otter. But you know, I've seen him, I've seen the otter. Um, now, it may take me ages to get some great shots of this guy and I might have to make multiple visits, but I've seen him with my own eyes, which is great. So I knew there were otters here. I knew they came out in daylight and I've seen him myself now, so that's great. And I'm gonna keep working to get that shot. But what an experience. This is why we go out and look for wildlife, just so you get those little moments. It's so, so brilliant. I can't believe I've seen an otter that close. He was literally five feet away from me and he just popped up and looked at me. It was absolutely brilliant. So I'm so, so pleased. Um, as I say, I would love to have got good shots as well, but that might come on another day. It might even come later on today. Uh, I've got a few hours of daylight left, so I'm going to keep looking. But these guys, as I say, are so elusive. But it's brilliant. I've seen my otter. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, if I get some, some more pictures or I have another encounter, I will sort of add that on to the end of this, uh, this video. But if not, um, what a great afternoon. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you, have, if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it'd be great if you consider 
uh, subscribing and if you do subscribe press a little bell icon so you're notified when I put up my next video um, also if you do like this uh, vlog if you can press the like button that always helps this channel so um, yeah brilliant it's absolutely fantastic I can't believe I've seen the otter so close it's what an encounter um, yeah so that's about it now um, also if you've got any of your own wildlife encounters that you'd like to share those little moments with wildlife please put them in the comments section below I'm always really happy to uh, to look at what other people have uh, been getting up to so uh, thanks very much for watching thanks for listening I hope you enjoyed this if I've so enjoyed the afternoon and I will speak to you soon guys it's bye for now from me Hi folks, uh, morning. So yesterday was a great, great uh, wildlife shoot. Um, so I finally found the otters. Um, I didn't get very good pictures, but you know, sometimes I don't think that matters. Uh, and I wanted to mention that really, you know, that it was a really, really brilliant wildlife experience. And although the photographs weren't very good at all, or pretty rubbish actually, um, I don't think it really mattered in that instance because the wildlife experience was great and it, and it made my day to be honest, so that's really good. I'm going to work hard in the future to get good otter pictures. Uh, I know more about that stretch of river now, so uh, hopefully, you know, um, I will increase my success rate. That's great, but you know, at the same time, I still came away with some nice shots. I've got the mandarin ducks, which were lovely. Um, and also, on the way back, um, I got some really nice pictures of um, a, a, a pair of grey legs and their chicks. So grey leg geese uh, and, and a set of chicks. And they were really subtly backlit as well. So you've got this little glow around the soft sort of plumage of the chicks. So again, it was a really nice picture. So, you know, I've got some otter pictures, which were not great. Uh, I've got some mandarin duck pictures, which uh, were excellent. I've not photographed mandarin ducks before. And also I've got some really nice... Uh, pictures of grey leg geese and their chicks. So for an afternoon's photography, it was fabulous and uh, I'm going to try again for the otters in the future. So I just wanted to mention that being wildlife photographers, it's not always about the picture. I mean obviously the pictures are important and that's why we go out and shoot them, but sometimes the experience is just as great. And to be out in nature, enjoying the fresh air, I mean the river was literally a beautiful location. Uh, not only will I be back there again for uh, for otters, but probably in the autumn I'm going to go back and take some riverscape because all the trees with autumn leaves and possibly a bit of mist will look fantastic. So I've got another great location that I didn't know much about. So and I love exploring new locations, and they haven't got to be, you know, sort of exotic, far flung uh, places around the world. Sometimes an area that you've not explored close to home, this was about an hour and three quarters away from where I live, can be really just as interesting. So it was a cracking afternoon. Um, I really enjoyed the afternoon. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, I really do appreciate everyone watching uh, and everyone that subscribes to my channel. I really appreciate the support. So thanks again for watching and listening and uh, I'll speak to you on my next vlog. Cheers. Thanks for now guys and I'll speak to you soon.